Hi, on this video I will be showing you how to install Ubuntu in RAID. Um, on this tutorial I will be doing a RAID 0. Uh, to do this you will need the alternate um, installation CD for Ubuntu. The live CD will not work with this. So you will have to go to ubuntu.com and look for an alternate CD. Um, you also are going to need at least two hard drives. So um, on this video I'm going to be doing two uh, small hard drives in a virtual machine. So to do this you boot it into your um, alternate CD, choose your language and go to install Ubuntu. and uh, you just choose your language and your country and your keyboard layout and uh, all that basic stuff Then you just choose a name for your machine, which will be vis visible to other machines in your network. Choose your time zone. Now um, when you get to the partition manager you go to manual. Now when you get here notice how there is um, two hard drives here. We have SDA and um, SDB and um, they're 5.4 gigabytes each. Now to create um, a RAID 0 we will need to create a um, a uh, root partition. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, actually, we'll have to create one for the SDA drive and one for the SDB drive. And they both have to be the same size. So I'm going to go to the free space of the SDA drive, enter, and uh, create new partition. And I'm going to make this partition 4 gigabytes. So 4 gigabytes and continue. I'm going to make it primary. And I'm going to go ahead and put this at the end of the drive. Okay, once we get this screen, we go to Use As and we go down to Physical uh, Volume for RAID. Once we do that, we go to done setting um, setting up the partition and now we go to the second um, free space in the second hard drive uh, we create another 4 gigabyte partition there and continue primary and 
and we do the same thing for this one we go to use as and we go down to physical volume for rate and then done setting up the partition okay <clears throat> so now we have two identical partitions one in the first hard drive and one in the second hard drive after you do that go all the way up to configure software RAID and then I will ask you to write the changes go ahead and say yes now we, gra uh, we go to um, create uh, MD device and it will ask you what kind of RAID you want now this is very similar for for all of these RAIDs but uh, for this uh, tutorial I will be using RAID 0 for performance so um, go ahead and choose RAID 0 and it will ask you which um, drives or partitions you want to use for this RAID so we choose the two partitions that we just created and we go to continue and finish now it will go back to the uh, partitions window and so now at the top you will notice that there is a new drive which is called RAID 0 device and it's 8 gigabytes so basically what it is is it's the two uh, partitions we created the two four gigabyte each partitions um, so we created a drive out of those um, so um, this new drive is going to be our root partition so you just choose that drive and what it says use as um, we will choose an EXT4 journaling file system you can use two or three but um, four is more efficient so I'm gonna go ahead and choose four now in the mount point we choose the root file system after we're, we're done doing that we just uh, go to done setting up the partition so now we have a, a new RAID drive that's going to be our root directory now we also need some swap so we go to the the first hard drive uh, we click on the free space and create new partition and for for the swap I'm just gonna be using uh, let's say 400 megabytes um, and I'm gonna put this at the end too So we go all the way up, use as, and we go to physical volume for RAID. Same thing as for the first partitions. And once we're done, we go to done setting up the partition. And then we go to the second hard drive and click the free space there and create no partition. So the same thing we did for the first drive we'll do for this one so 400 megabytes for our second swap partition and I'll put this at the end too so we use this one as a physical volume for RAID again and once you do that you go to done setting up the partition 